What is going on guys welcome back in today's video we're going to learn how to properly import our own custom python modules into our scripts and also what the role of the init.py files is in that context so let us get right into it All right, so today we're going to work with multiple files and multiple directories. And please don't be confused by my development environment. I'm using NeoVim inside of the Windows subsystem for Linux. So inside of a terminal on Windows, but that is completely irrelevant to you. You can use whatever you want. You can use VS Code, PyCharm, Notepad++, the Python idle, doesn't matter. All you need is a directory where you can create multiple Python files and directories, and you need a Python editor and a Python uh, development environment. That's basically it. You just need to be able to run Python scripts. I'm going to use this environment, but don't be confused by that. So the first thing to want to do is we want to create a file called main.py. And this is going to be obviously our main file here, we're going to run code. And the goal is now to have functionality in different Python files that we can then uh, import into the main file. So for example, let's create a second file here. Uh, let's say we have um, a file, I'm going to call it functionality.py. Uh, we just create this file here. Um, and essentially, we're going to open this now in split mode here, I'm going to just define a couple of arithmetic functions. So I'm going to say def add. Now let me just briefly before it fires up again, disable the auto completion. So we're going to have add taking parameters x and y returning x plus y, very simple functions. And we're going to copy this now. And we're going to have the same function here for sup, we're going to have the same function for mul, and we're going to have the same function for diff. And we're going to change the respective operators here. So those are the functions that we would like to use in the main file. How can we do that? Now when we have just one file, this is kind of simple. All we need to do is we need to say, uh, from functionality, import, and then I can say, for example, add, then I can print print at 10 and 20. So that's quite simple. Um, I can now open up a terminal here, I navigate to the directory that I'm working in, and I can now run the Python file again, don't be confused by the environment. All I did is I created two Python files in the same directory, and I ran them in a terminal. So you can do that as well. Um, and you can see it worked. So now I use the add function of the functionality Python uh, file, and I used it in the main file without having the function defined in the main file by just saying from functionality import add. So this is kind of simple, nothing too complicated here. Um, now what I can also do is I can say from functionality import star. And then I can also use add and I can also use uh, sup. And let's see if that works. Python three main py, you can see it works without problems. Um, so that is how you do that if you just have a file in the same directory. Now let's say you don't have just a single file, but you have an actual module. So you actually have a directory with multiple Python files that have different functionality uh, in those files. So let's say here, I'm going to create now uh, a new directory, let's call it um, other module. And inside of that, I'm going to create uh, a Python file called uh, second.py. I don't know just just some file here. Uh, and let's open this file. And let's say we have a function, my function here. And let's say I just want to print hello, with this function. So in order to use this function now, I don't have to do anything fancy, I just go again to my main file, I say from, uh, and in this case, other module import. And um, I can just import here now the second. So the difference here is that I'm importing now the full file. So if I have multiple functions, th this is not a function here, I'm saying from the file functionality, import the different functions, whereas here I'm saying from the module from the directory other module, import one of the Python files. And if I now want to access the function, I have to say second dot my function, like this, in order to execute it in order to call it. Or of course, alternatively, I could also say import, uh, or actually, I can say from uh, other module dot second import everything. And then I could just run, I could just call the function without referring to second, specifically, so that works as well. The interesting thing now is what if we have multiple files, and this is 
maybe something new to you because that's up until now, this was actually quite clear. Uh, let's say I have a, uh, another file here, third.py. And um, I have, I don't know, another function. And this time it prints ABC or something like that. And uh, now let's say I want to do something else. I want to go into my main file and I want to say from other module import absolutely everything. So I want to import second and third and I want to be able to do something like second dot my function. How do we do that? Because if I try to do it like this, if I just say from other module import everything uh, and I want to import those two files, you can see it doesn't work. And this now is why we need the so called init py file. So underscore underscore init underscore underscore py files that you see in so many projects that you see in so many packages, sometimes it's auto automatically created in PyCharm, for example, this file has the functionality to actually make a directory into a module. So if I go here into other module, and I create this file, so underscore underscore init underscore underscore dot py, if I just create it, this now makes this directory to a module. So now this is recognized as a module. And inside of this file, I can also write the following line, I can say underscore underscore all underscore underscore equals, and then I can provide a list with strings. And these strings refer to the file name. So I can say here second, and third. And now this already this file here, this init py file with this line of code being in the same directory as those two files, this will allow me to use this notation from other module import star because what happens here is the star is decoded into second and third. And if I now run this, you can see this works. So this is how that works. Another thing, of course, is you can go ahead and create a sub module. So I can create another directory sub module, for example, inside of other module and here I can create a file, let's call it fourth dot py. Um, and if I open it, and I say last function, print, I promise. There you go. Um, now I can go into my main, main file and say, from other module dot sub module, import, for example, fourth. So this should work, I think if I now say, um, fourth dot last function like this. This works as you can see, and I think it should also be possible to say uh, dot fourth import, and then last FCT, and then we don't have to use the fourth. So as you can see, this works as well. Now, one last thing that I want to show you is a notation. I'm not sure if we actually need it anymore. But one thing at least to make it backward compatible, uh, compatible. And if you publish your own package, this is also always a good thing to do. You can also uh, write the import statements of the respective module here inside of the init py file for clarity. So you can say from dot another, uh, not another, sorry, this is my prepared code uh, from dot second, we want to import uh, what did we have here, my function. So my function, and from third, import another function was the name, I think. So this is how this is done professionally. Um, another function another function, there you go. So this also works. And this is how you allow for the usage of the uh, of the wildcard import here. So this is how you do that. And those are the basics of working with your own custom modules in Python, you can just import them if they're in the same directory by just specifying the file. Uh, or if you have a module structure, it's always useful to define init py files to allow for this uh, special type of import. Uh, but yeah, that is how you do that in Python. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting the like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.